we have a pretty simple setup for the particles itself. We have emitter um, and uh, we have noise uh, of strength of 5 and space scale 0.3. And I wanted to show you how quickly it is to work with Reflow and how wonderful it is to use cache sims to um, make dominant force, for example. So we have the splash going on. Uh, it's not ideal just yet, but with a higher quality and some tweaking, it can be really cool splash eventually. And uh, as you can see now, we have all of these cubes, uh, elastic cubes, inactive. So let's make it uh, active now and let's put it, uh, this domain, which has the particles, the splash itself, to cache. And uh, let's simulate from the point forward, uh, from the very beginning, and you will see that these will be affected by the force itself, uh, um, by the, the particle splash. And that's how easy it is to work uh, with kind of dominant uh, forces over here. And um, yeah, this is just fun. Just imagine how much you can do with it uh, when you once you decide which one is actually dominant and you can just sculpt it out anything, anything you want. So here's another example. I imported um, an object I made of the spikes and look how fun it is. See? It's pretty much stiff. So it acts like very <laughs> stiff jelly or something. Uh, let's just show uh, very quickly how can we mesh it up. Um, Let's bring it up, BDB Mesh, which is the best of all. And first and foremost, let's just see uh, tools, particle tooltip. What's the particle radius? So let's bring it up, bring it down, and outer polygon size. And for now, let's do nothing but that, right? And rename it. And let's make it bounded, so we won't, we won't have to mesh all of it. We only need to see how it looks from some part. Build. Pretty accurate already. Um, I think we would just go for it. Let's see what we have. Not perfect just yet, but hey, this is just an example. Uh, we can tweak it even more. We can we can re filter it up just a bit. We have some particles going out, so this is a good point. Alrighty. Let's mesh it out to see how it looks, shall we? Let's go back to the beginning. Build mesh from the current state to the to the ending. Look how fast it is. It's insane. Here's what we have. Uh, this is the same geometry with different stiffness and different resolution. Uh, so you will see how slightly different it is. Uh, as you can see with higher resolution, I don't necessarily recommend you to use most of the time, but it depends on your own design and what you're willing to create. And now let's go back to the main uh, cloth simulation. 